Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to get the details of any error codes that used to occur in any Windows computers. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, sometimes what happens, we used to get uh, some errors. So, right now you can see, just to give you an example, such kind of errors may be occurring on your Raspberry Windows computers. So, here it does not provide a clear information about what those error codes means, right? So, for this, what you need to do is just open any web browser and in the Google search the search for one application name as your lookup by Henry PP and on the first list you will see the developer website just click on it now on the right side you can see your releases just click on it now here you can see tons of files you can download the zip file also whichever file you want to download or you can download the .exe files so here I'm gonna download a .zip file so finally the file has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it's being downloaded and let me close this web browser so let's double click it extract this zip file now just open the extracted folder now here you will see three different folder one is 32 64 and rm64 so if you're using a windows 32 bit then just use this first one and if you're using a windows 64 bit then you can use the 64 or you can use the 32 as well and if you're using a windows rm processor then use this rm64 folder so right now you can see the first one euro lookup is the application just double click on it so now you can see the user interference of this software right so this software includes uh, tons of error code details so you can just use this search box in order to get the details of the respective error codes which might be occurring in your respective windows computer so as i've shown you earlier some error codes so we're gonna put here on this search box and we'll check out what those error codes means so right now you can see here under the module it's showing windows kernel mode and on the right side you can see the descriptions of the respective error codes so you can see here the severity you can see facility access denied as you can see here so by using this application name as error lookup you can easily get the details of any error codes that used to occur in any windows computer very easily so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching